Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at What's Minor. This is Micro BT, What's Minor, M66S Plus. Also the M63S is a server-based, well they look like server-based hydro-cooled miners. And looking at Air Miner, the new M60S Plus. These are all 17 joules of terahash. Newest miners from What's Miner, they just released them I think it was yesterday. We're going to be looking at that, also looking at the containers. Um, there's a container out here, uh, very back down there, that runs What's Miner, so you can plug in directly into those server racks. And looking at their models, they have some models here set up. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking to buy miners, sell miners, you're looking to build a farm, you want to build a What's Miner farm, you want to build a What's, uh, a, a Bitmain farm, hydro or air, we have all of that available. We have gas sites available. We have um, on-grid, off-grid, uh, different states, uh, New York, Washington, Nebraska, everywhere out there. If you're looking for hosting, we also have that as well. So lots of lots of options. All of that available at CryptoLLC.org. And before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. By the way, we are at Nashville, for, almost forgot to say, Nashville Expo, this is 2024, last day, third day, Trump's speech is coming up here in like two hours, so can't wait to go to that and see what he has to say about Bitcoin. All right, now let's get started on the video. So here's the M63S, give you guys some nice shots of it. It's a very nice setup where it's uh, server based. Basically just have these handles, pull it out, pull it in. You know, very convenient. Um, a lot better than Bitmain's, just has miners sitting there, it's server based. So that's really cool. It's got the standard input here, uh, control board. It's got two hash boards. One and two. Get your power coming in here. And then your power supply. And. And here it is M63S. Look at that. 17 joules of terahash. 390 to 450 terahash. It's got the standard voltages. The required, you know, three phase power, all that good stuff. It runs from 380 to 480 voltage. So you could run this on basically all types of transformers the ones that are 245 a leg or the ones that are 277 a leg, because you can do 480 here. So it takes all those types of transformers, which is nice from 380 to 480. Um, and again, this is a server based one, the newest one that just came out. 17 joules of terahash. It just came out, and they don't know the price for sure. What it is, I asked them. They said it's going to be about nine dollars a terahash. So I'm going to multiply that. But you can see the the, the difference here from 390 to 450. It's a pretty big difference. Um, so you know, getting a solid number on that. Uh, I guess until they actually come out with their real sales numbers. Until then. But anyway, I'll show you guys some more close-ups of the of the hash board here. Hash boards, by the way. Look at that, some thick, thick metal there. And uh, they actually sent me a picture. Let me open that up on my phone. I'll show you guys a picture of the hash board. Uh, here we go. There it is. What is that, some email or something? All right, so here's that hash board. Look at all those chips. They're right next to each other. And I asked them, like, hey, are, if those chips are so close to each other, wouldn't they overheat? Wouldn't they... Uh, heat up each other you know you should have some space in between them but they told me that no they don't they don't heat up each other these chips are uh, made by Samson so it's a Samson manufacturer of these ASIC chips and uh, these are four nanometers so four nanometer chips um, uh, they told me it's like I think 250 chips per hash board so that's a lot of chips I mean, that's why you're getting that huge performance there all running at 17 uh, watts terahash so that's going to be it for this this miner, and then let's talk about air. So they also released their 17 joules of terahash air miner here, 190 to 210 terahash, 17. 
and it is power at the wall, 3,100 to 3,400 watts. Again, you got that 10% jump between them. And uh, these air coolers are still based on the two fan solution. You know how Bitman has four fans. This one has two fan solution, three hash ports. You know, basically very, very similar to other types of miners out there that uh, What's Miner released uh, with the two fan solution. And we got the miner right here. We can take a look at him. Again, very, very similar. Looks like a solid miner. You know, very um, thick, thick metal here. A solid miner. Not, 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 uh, not flimsy like uh, Bitmain's. Um, like even their lids are like flimsy. But again, you know, it all depends on the price and how much you're willing to pay and all that. And it doesn't really matter if it's flimsy or not. So who knows? Um, but it's a decision that our clients make. Um, sometimes they want to go with this or go with that or whatever they feel comfortable with. Or, you know, we recommend obviously the, the uh, either one is good, you know, but depends on the price. Now let's go talk about the um, M66S. By the way, uh, keep watching this video because I'm going to walk over to the uh, actual container. There's a physical container here, not by what's by made by a different manufacturer, I think by Hecore, and we're gonna be going over that one and seeing how you can plug in uh, these types of uh, hydro cooled racks into that. And then for immersion, you have the M66S Plus. So this is gonna be the immersion solution. You have um, same exact minor efficiency, 17 J J's or 17 watts ter hash for the immersion cooling M66S. So this guy you just plug in to um, a setup like this. And uh, you would then have these guys placed into these containers here, little boxes or, you know, different solutions. This is their solution. Um, but you can have other types of solutions for immersion cooling. You can run it your own way. For immersion, it's, it's you know, you can get basically anything that would take, that would give you that much power. they would be able to run something like this in immersion. Um, you can do how you want for immersion, so it's not like you have to use their setup. There's so many solutions out here. And at this uh, expo hall, there's a bunch of immersion solutions all over the place. So you can pick one of those and then pick this miner here to run for your immersion cooling from what's miner. Or you can go with uh, Bitmain's immersion solution there. But you're still getting the same 17 joules of terahash, your 280 to 318. Um, so we're still getting high performance here at 17 watts tear hash for immersion. But going over there, um, how they're kind of setting it up here, you got your cooling containers here. It's going to be cooling off the oil and running it to your boxes here that you have your immersion cooling in. Just a little model. Let's go over here and uh, take a look at Hydro solution. Yeah, this looks like their hydro solution here. And you can see you got the racks. You got the racks here for hydro. And uh, this is how you would run it if you were to go with the rack solution rather than the immersion cooling solution. That's what it looks like because um, they do have a pamphlet here that says immersion cooling solution from Hash House. This is not a hash house. It looks like a new attack, but it does look like just hydro to me. Let me see. Yeah, those are the racks. See back there. So this is the rack solution. This is the hydro solution, not the immersion cooling. But you can see it looks like way more than a megawatt, by the way. This looks like two megawatts or something like that. And then the cooling solution over here does look like it provides enough cooling for something like past a megawatt, or like two megawatt solution here. But this is something that you can also do. Um, they put it like this in length. Um, I'm assuming you could take this guy switch them around, put them next to it, and have those pipes come to the side. Either way, you know, depending on your property size and all that, uh, you can run it like this and just have your second, uh, you know, two megawatt solution here, and then your third two megawatt solution, and so on. Kind of doesn't really matter, but gives you an idea, like from, from up above here, how I'm recording it. Oh, uh, here's uh, the front end of that air miner, I'll show you guys. You know, it's got the standard SD card, your Ethernet connector, your reset, your find IP address. It's got the power connector here, or the fans actually, not the power connector, the fans. Like that. 
which is cool because if your fan dies, no, I'm an investor. you don't have to Thank take you. apart this top. Like on a Bitmain miner, you have to take off the lid to replace the fan. But here, if the fan dies, you just remove it here. One, two, three, four, unplug that. So it's, it's easier. It's easier to do than to, than to uh, take off the lid. For a Bitmain miner, you gotta take off the lid to do that. Same thing over here, you can see the exhaust fan. See the exhaust fan, same thing. It's plugged in here. So you never really need to take off the lid if the fan dies. You just take off the fan, unplug it, plug a new fan in. That's cool. That's really cool that they thought of that. There's some more uh, models. There's some more models. You can have flare gas. This is something that we, uh, we sell at Crypto LLC. Uh, it's flare gas or gas mining. We have some available in the United States and Northern States. There's a lot of flare gas out there and you can plug in a gas generator, a gen, gen set, like 650 times two for a megawatt. And uh, you take the flare gas and you have your gas generators produce the energy for you and you have your mining containers right there, right next to that flare gas. And you can run your, your hydro or air miners right there. And here's some more examples over here. You know, I'm thinking, you know what, this video is so long, I'm probably just going to make a separate video for that What's Miner Hydro Container. Because this video is already, you know, long enough. I'll just separate it, by the way. So make sure you guys watch video on our channel for the What's Miner. You know, it's gonna be separate than this one. This one is just gonna be about the miners and, and their models here at, at Bitcoin 2024. Um, so you can see here, this looks like a hydro solution. Let me see, it's a uh, heat core, okay. Oh, this is the heat core, by the way. So this is the heat core setup cooling uh, solution for their actual container out there. We'll walk out there and take a look, but this is heat core. Looks like it's probably their off brand or, or, or second brand from What's Miner because it's next to their What's Miner uh, sign there or the logo there. So looks like they're probably working together. But heat core, here's their cooling, looks like for hydro, uh, judging by the pipes and the setup here. You got the V shape, so you got the the radiators being cooled off. The water or the, or runs through those hate radiators and goes back, so comes in hot, comes out cold from being cooled from these fans. And just the fact of ambient temperature, ambient temperature hitting those fins and those fins cooling off that hot, hot air. And those look like some older, uh, what's minor, M1s, really old ones, just for fun, but yeah. So that's what that looks like. Here's some more general overview from What's Miner. Hydro, immersion, and air all at 17. Different uh, hash rates, judging by the power consumption, but they're all in the, at the same efficiency rate. I'm gonna take a look at these models over here. Yeah, so that's a hydro solution over there. Hydro model solution there. So yeah, so they're basically showing off uh, their new product here. And this is something that we can recommend for our clients. I mean, we've seen what's miners, uh, you know, year after year after year, they're a solid miner. Uh, we can run them for you. If you want to go for what's miner, you can. Doesn't matter to us, you know, immersion, air, or uh, hydro. Any of those solutions work. Or what's minor or Bitmain. You see Bitmain right over there. The opposite, you know, competitors for what's minor. And you can watch our videos um, on our channel. We do have Bitmain videos going over there, miners as well. Um, we have that, so make sure you guys check it out. But wanted to say that if you wanted to build a hydro farm, a merchant farm, or air farm, we have all of those solutions available at Crypto LLC. Um, you know, and we can talk about the various differences between them all. There's uh, things you have to keep in mind, like noise, um, things like uh, price, you know, per miner, price per per megawatt, you know, uh, infrastructure costs. You know, there's pluses and minuses to to all three solutions here. You know, in terms of air, water, or immersion, 
pluses and minuses, and so we help our clients make that decision. Sometimes our clients come in and they say, you know what, you know, I really just want to do immersion. You know, I just love immersion. I don't care that maybe, you know, maybe it has these other negatives about it, um, but it has these positives that, you know, that I really like. I want to do that, and uh, we can help our clients uh, produce their uh, 5 megawatt, 10 megawatt, you know, 100 megawatt farms, whatever they're looking for. Um, we do all of that at Crypto LLC. Um, so make sure you guys check out our site, CryptoLC.org. We also sell miners, buy miners, build farms. We do hosting. We have hosting available right now. We got uh, 30 megawatts in the United States available. We got uh, New York, Nebraska, Washington, all that available uh, for hosting. So check out our site. You can host with us while you build out your farm, by the way. So you don't have to uh, just sit around and wait for your farm to be done before you start mining. You can start mining now. You can start hosting with us right now. So you can buy the miners while they're cheap, mine with us, and then as soon as the your mining farm is ready, which could take about six months, let's say, as soon as your mining farm is ready, then you just transfer your miners over. So you're not losing any time. You, you know, you're not sitting around waiting for the miners to go up in price, especially if the Bitcoin price goes up. But you can get solid miners, start mining immediately, um, and then once your farm is ready to roll, we just transfer them over to your location, and your contract ends immediately. You know, we're not going to put you into a you know, one year contract, and doesn't matter if the farm is ready or not. No, we put you in a month to month contract, and then as soon as your mining farm is ready, we just be like, all right, contract is over, we ship back, we ship your miners to your new farm, you're ready to roll over there. So it's a great deal, um, it's really nice. Uh, I, I don't know any other mining or hosting company out here that has something similar to that, but we provide that for our clients, so make sure you check it out. By the way, we have firmware available for download. You want to download uh, firmware for your Bitmain miners? We have we work with Vinish. It's a firmware provider, and we have a special uh, uh, special partnership with them. And we provide firmware for our clients. We get special uh, tweaks to the firmware that allow us to run how we want to. Right? We want special uh, uh, profiles and and uh, temperatures and all that stuff for miners. So if you guys have S19s, S21s from Bitmain or L7s, L9s. Uh, we support all of those on our firmware. So check out the link in the description for that firmware download. You know, check it out, download it, install it. You're gonna save a couple hundred watts on miners, on each miner, and then profile switching is super nice. You'll be able to uh, keep your miners nice and cool no matter how hot it gets, and so on. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Until next time. Goodbye.